Hey there guys, um, earlier today I perfect scored Dark Visions, which means now I've got the rest of the week to goof off on some trials. So I'm going to be taking the new Tifa I got today, as well as some of the other new toys we've gotten recently, to basically just, you know, flex on a few trials. Um, this is not really intended to be a guide, this is just me, you know, blowing up trials that are getting more and more power crept by the day, but what else are we going to do with the new units? I mean... Yeah, this is really all you have to do with new units is Dark Visions, which we did, or just, you know, abuse and, you know, be mean to Trials. So anyway, I'm not really going to go over, like, gear and strategy and all that. This is not really a guide. If you need a guide using these new units on these fights, let me know in the comments, and I'll go back and re-clear them and spend more time explaining gear, explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing. But for now, we're just going to spend less time showing gear and team and more time killing. We're starting with Hard Mode Ashura, and calling her Hard Mode becomes less and less accurate the longer this uh, fight has been out. So anyway, we're going to use Lord of the Seas Nicole, once the auto-casting finishes. We're going to fill um, my and the friend um, DJ Freeze, also known as Max, um, he did not, or mine, I'm sorry, mine is not EX1, neither is the friend's. So we don't have our LB automatically good to go, so we're going to use Nicole to Enhancing Stance, Flood and Water Infusion. And Lang will shift and we will Magnus, Human Killer buff, and Mirage. That's going to fill our LB gauges and then Cacteria is going to, um, let's see, we're going to break the boss. We're going to Water Imperil the boss and it doesn't really matter what else we do because all we need now we're going to LB, we're going to LB Aerith, and we're going to LB Tifa. So double Tifa plus Aerith should pretty easily take care of this phase one. That's the plan at least, let's find out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dead, dead boss. He dead boss has a million HP, or a billion, we did 1.1. We actually did not overkill by that much, but um, it was enough. And of course we've got um, immunity to the threshold thanks to the team we're using. And, you know, this this is hard mode. I'm, I'm not, like, cheesing it with easy mode. It really is hard mode. Anyway, we're now going to use Ling to um, give us an undead killer buff. And we're going to use Dragon Dancer and Celestial Dance to fill the Tifas back up yet again. And we'll just reload everyone. We're going to use Nicole to um, LB here for the better Amplify. And we're going to use Kakaria to uh, break the boss with um, a nice water in peril and all. Cacteria is really nice with Tifa, to be completely honest here. And let's go ahead and try to, oh yeah, goodbye Ashura. Goodbye Ashura. Yeah, phase two is way easier with Tifa and then later Sephiroth because by phase two, their LBs are already stacked up. Phase one's actually significantly harder. We did 2.2 billion, the boss has one billion. We were killed by more than double in phase two. Yeah, phase one on Ashura is way harder because we're not stacked up yet. Um, and here is the damage breakdown. Oh, the friend, what a what a cheater. He did more damage than me. Unfair. Unfair. <laughs> but anyway, there was Ashura hard mode. I think it was all missions. We might have skipped like I think I think I think there's one to summon an Esper, which we didn't do. Whoops. Whatever. Um, there was Ashura. Let's go and do another one in a moment. See you soon. Alright guys, next up we're going to Lord of the Sewers EXT, um, the Abzu fight. Using the exact same team, we're using the exact same um, strategy. The only difference is we're just using one Tifa instead of two. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's see here. We're going to shift our Tifa. We're going to shift our... Oh, she already shifted. We're going to use Ling to, um, oh, not yet. we got to wait for the Nicole. Nicole is going to fill LB gauge. We're going to water imbue and then whatever. Cacteria um, is going to uh, imperil the boss. And we can't break the boss. I guess we'll break the attack power in case we don't OTK. But spoilers, we're probably going to. We'll see. We might not. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, why is Ling? Everybody's in the wrong form. Come on, Ling, please, shift, thank you. All right, Ling, let's 
fill LB gauge, let's do a beast killer, and let's do a mirage, because it is possible we don't OTK here. And let's do our chaining. Wait for this to finish. Alright, let's go ahead and hit Abzu. Oh, well, okay, well, we didn't even need turn two. Turn one was enough. Turn one was enough. Exact same team, exact same strategy. Um, boom, 1.7. I think the boss is 1.5. So again, we didn't overkill by a ton. But if we didn't um, one-shot with Tifa, we would have just done the exact same thing we did with the Shira. We would have just refilled and popped off again on turn two. Let's do that same goofy strategy for another fight. See you in a moment. All right, guys, next up, we're going to go to hard mode, Bayomet, and, well, the strategy we're using currently is working, so why not keep using the same strategy? Let's see if we can pop hard mode, Bayomet, in a short amount of time. So, we're going to, let's see here, um, we're going to, since all the autocasting finishes, the autocasting is for the Esper fill because we need that for the true enhancing stance, because my Tifa is sad face. She is not um, EX1 or EX2, so she can't do the uh, uh, she can't do the cool stuff like filling LB gauge on turn one. And I'm talking and losing track of what I'm doing. Let's break defense, and I guess we'll break attack power just in case like we don't kill the boss immediately. All right, I mean, we're not going to. We're actually not breaking the gauge on Bayma, so this is going to take at least two hits. Um, we're going to Beast, and we're going to do Mirage as well. Uh, no one's provoking, because I don't really care. We're just going to Mirage, and hope the boss spreads out the damage on turn one, because the whole team currently has Mirage now. Two stacks. So as long as it doesn't pick on anyone um, four times in a row, we should be fine. Alright, Tifa, get him, girl! Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Alright, please spread out your attacks. Okay, one on Aerith, one on Tifa. Excellent, spread them attacks out. Perfect. You can't hurt me. Alright. Um, let's see. What are we doing now? Uh, I don't know. Need a break? Oh, you're not ready yet. That's fine. Ling's got us. Ling's got us. Let's go ahead and Dragon Dancer. Let's go ahead and Celestial Dance to refill the party. And, uh, do we need anything else? We did Hunter. We can't do Dragon Killer with Ling, can we? We cannot. I guess we'll just do, um, Passionate Performance to fill more LB gauge. Let's go ahead and Amplify with Nicole. And let's, um, deal some damage to Bayomet. We have stacked up Tifa's, L uh, Tifa's LB. Boom! Like I said, Trials are power prep today, and again, this is hard mode. I'm not cheesing this like going to go into the easy mode and trying to, you know, trick you. This is this is hard mode. But power creep. It's a hell of a drug. Okay, so that was fun. Let's go ahead and pop over to another one. But first, let's go ahead and see how much the friend outdamaged me once again, because I am being hard carried in these fights. The friend carried me again. But hey, it works. We got it. So we're going to go to another quote-unquote hard trial. See you in a moment. Alright guys, next up and probably last for this video is going to be Scorn of Aemon. Um, for this one, we are dropping our Lord of Seas Nicole because we're going for a five-five mission or five-man team. Just to say we did. Now Aemon is a little bit of a jerk face. We can't hurt him with water until turn... Um, until turn four, so it's gonna be a little bit slower than we're used to. So Ling is gonna start off with doing some LB fill, and we're gonna go ahead and just passion twice. That's gonna let our Aerith do her shifted LB for the nice big stat boost. Let's see, we're gonna use Cacteria to um, break the boss's magic by a lot. We're gonna do a resistance buff, and then I don't really care what else we do. Um, you know, we can just, who cares? Doesn't really matter. Alright, so Tifa's are going to go to the shift form. Um, the friend's already good to go with his LB, but mine is not. So mine is going to triple cast uh, some LB fill. Do this, we can just guard the friend for now. Okay. So we're not using a tank, you know, I don't think it really matters. We're using Cacteria for, for a big magic break, it should be totally fine here. 
That's the plan, at least. We'll see. We're immune to earth damage because of the Cacteria buff, so that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and stack up our Tifas. Get that going. We're going to use Ling to go back to the base form, and we do need a little bit of mitigation at this point. So we're going to go ahead and Transcendent. We're going to do Purifying for the status immunity, and we'll do um, Celestial Combo Step to give Chain Frames to people. Uh, Aerith can just guard. We're done with you. you. You did your purpose. We can go ahead and use um, use the good break on Cacteria, just a uh, longer duration break. Okay, still just waiting for, um, for turn four, so we can actually hurt the boss. He'll cooperate eventually. And the boss just broke our um, our attack and magic, but uh, we'll use Ling to deal with that, because Ling does everything, apparently. So we'll go ahead and go back to the shift form with Ling. We're going to do an undead killer buff with um, medium stance. We're going to do rallying dance to get rid of that break the boss put on us a moment ago. And um, I guess we'll just do a celestial step again. doesn't really matter what else we do. Because Tifas are going to just use their Magnus here to... Um, Amplify themselves and all that goodness. We'll use Cacteria to go ahead and put water and water and on the party And we'll just guard Aerith right here And okay now we can finally hurt the boss now that it is turn four So let's see if we can take out the boss in one pop All right, so of course the Mirage is always a headache, but we've got Aerith here to take care of that for us we're going to use LBs on both the Tifas to kill the boss, and we're going to use Stardust Ray on our support units to um, bridge that gap. And then Tifa's LB. We're going to wait for Aerith to finish. We don't, want, we don't want the chain to break here. That would be very unfortunate. All right, come on, Aerith. Finish it up. The Mirage is gone. You're good. You got us. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use our stacked LB on the big bad Aemon, and we're still not done. Keep it going, boys. Okay, there it was, hard mode Aemon, and just to confirm, this again, I am really doing hard mode. Yeah. Yeah. Power creep. Power creep. It's fun. Okay, so... That's basically it. We've killed the three hardest trials... <laughs> with basically the same team. The team is mostly naked other than Tifa. And, um, hey, look at that. I actually almost almost damaged the friend. There we go. Uh, the boss had, I think, three, three, 3 billion. We did 4 billion. So we overkilled by more than we needed. Um, okay, so there was some trials and the Abs fight, or the Abzu fight. That's it for today. Um, if you need actual serious guides for those using updated units, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see what I can do this week. But that was just the, you know, the flex clears. <laughs> See you next time.